Dude. This is awesome. Pretty cool. This yeah. is awesome. There it is. I told you you missed our turn. Right oh, is it? Okay. So the one with the tail back there. Here, here's your sign. Oh, uh, there's your sign. Yeah, there. Here's your sign. Earnhardt Technologies Group, employees yeah. and customers. Yeah. All right, y'all. We are at Earnhardt Technologies Group here in uh, near Mooresville, Kannapolis area, North Carolina, north of the track of uh, the dirt track at Charlotte where we've been racing with the XR Super Series. Uh, the, the folks here at Earnhardt Technologies invited us up to come check out their place. So we're going to see what it's like. Right this Hold way. On in. Check it out. This is a nice joint. Yeah, it's not bad. Oh, okay. Yeah, working on dirt flows. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> hey, look here, Joseph. Oh, yeah. That's right. Right. Uh, yeah. Front and center there. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> he, he, made I mean, the, he made the banner. Yeah, you're not as quite as big as <laughs> Brandon Overton in there, but you're on the banner. Yeah, the Budweiser <laughs> shop. Uh, this is where the eight car worked out okay. of this, this really? building right here. This side of the building. Really? Yeah. There's a few races one out of this, uh, this yeah. place. So. How long have uh, have you been been involved here? Uh, I've been here since 2005. Okay. Yeah. So you were part with the DEI. Yeah. It was DEI yeah. When racing. I started, when I started in with them, I hired in with uh, uh, worked for Paul Menard with okay. the 15 car. When the race team kind of closed down and closed up, that this is where that's where Earnhardt Technologies yeah. kind of yeah. evolved. From. Yeah. Um, and um, uh, she merged with um, uh, Chip Ganassi, you, you guys might remember that, in 2008, I believe. Right. And raced, it was Earnhardt Ganassi. Mm -hmm. We had, we actually won Daytona 500 with uh, Jamie McMurray that year. Well then when the team, uh, her and Ganassi kind of uh, dissolved, uh, we had all the parts and pieces, machinery and equipment and facility obviously to, to do something with that stuff. and. From that point on, we just started building. You know, we just started building parts. What was your background in dirt before coming? Uh, actually, right I here? worked for Masters Built Race Cars for okay. uh, yeah about 15 years. You have driven a few Master Built yeah. in your yeah. day? Yeah, <laughs> I, 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 left, I left there in 2000. Okay. Um, so, so all the the heyday years, all when when they was really like uh, late 80s and early not all through the 90s. Mm -hmm. like, everybody had a Master yeah. Built car. Right. You know, that was yeah. the car you wanted. Yeah. I got to work with. You know all the guys, uh, Bloomquist, Boggs, Mer Moyer, Moran, all them guys. What is this? That's though? a heater control box. So you can program. You want your oil 300 degrees. Set it at 300 degrees. Turn it on, and it'll constantly keep it at 300. Instead of plugging a, a probe in and let it just heat and heat and heat until you feel it and it's hot, mm -hmm. you don't know what temperature it is. This will control it. Mm -hmm. okay. And then this is kind of a, this goes with a laser alignment tool. So this will go in the back of your transmission. This go into your, your rear end. So you can shoot your drive line. See, we put that on there so you can actually see. So you see how straight of a so shot. To line your drive line. Yeah. Uh, this right here, I'm gonna tell y'all yes. what this is. Or this right here checker. is your axle checker. Yeah. You put your axle on it and you spin it. Yeah. If it wobbles, well, you got a problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, just a display for rear suspension and parts that we build. This side, pretty much cages for XR1, and um, that side would be more for Longhorn and Capitals. Is this shit elite? This is, is this not legal for us? I'm not exactly sure. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to have like a one inch tall. For, for World of Outlaw, anywhere where there's a truck. Like, with a spring uh, like this? You gotta have one inch tall yeah. part. That's yeah. mandated. But if you go somewhere where there's no droop, so this probably, stuff can, is legal. You can run it. If it's not droop rule, yeah. huh? And obviously you can. That's a normal bump spring, so you can whatever rate of bump spring you, you want to put it, you can change. Yeah. If you're interested, you can scan that QR code right there, and it'll send you to their online parts catalog. New age stuff right there, huh? <laughs> Found some uh, fellow Floridians over here. <laughs> Mark Whitener and Kyle Bronson check, checking them out today. Yeah, just starting a new job. First day on the job. <laughs> <laughs> you got all kinds of jobs now. Track owner, uh, promoter, and racer, and 
Maybe Technician we, at, at uh, Earnhardt Technologies. We figured if we couldn't run no better, we need to come over to our buddy Steve and Gaston here and get a good job at least. Yeah. <laughs> Is that hey, why we're, we're here? Job, <laughs> <laughs> I, I think we all missed hey, the show last night, cheap, didn't we? <laughs> we're all about cheap labor around here. <laughs> yeah. you, uh, you like a kid in a candy store over here? Hey, there's Christmas so morning. much stuff in here. Like, yeah. These shelves are slam packed with just yeah. inventory kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know what phone. I'm looking at. Some of it I do, some of it I don't. Yeah. I freaking okay. got it organized. They do. Nice, hey, we need. We gonna need our shop to look like this. Yeah, we got, I've been sending y'all shelves. We need to buy. Nobody wants to do nothing. Yeah, I'm, it's you just shop for me. Gotta have shelves. <laughs> I'm gonna go to sleep first. Then we're gonna play top golf. What was that, Jesse? He <laughs> said, "What we gonna do if it rains yeah. out?" So we're gonna go to sleep first. <laughs> and I'm gonna go play me some top golf. No, we're not. We're going to work. <laughs> Oh yeah, you gotta get faster. No we ain't got time to be swinging golf clubs. Rain, rain outs or work days. There's, <laughs> rain, there's a K1 speed over there. Yeah. Oh, oh, so that sounds Work better. on your driving you abilities. Work on your hand <laughs> yeah. yeah. Apparently huh. you need a little bit more wheel time. <laughs> Are we uh, walking into the other side here. What do we say? Is this like machine shop area over here? Yeah. All right. This is a uh, gear, gear and transmission assembly area. Okay. Where we do a lot of asphalt make model two and three speed gearboxes. That's like a NASCAR transmission. Right there? That is probably the coolest stuff on shooting housing. And anybody's ever, huh. ever had on a cook car. That is wild. You ever, I've never seen a side transmission, so. That's beyond me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is that y'all's casing? Yeah. Okay. How heavy is that? Uh, Magnesium? Oh, that ain't heavy at all. So this is a casing for a transmission? Yeah, they got four of them still. This is their. They made this oh, transmission wow. that they're building. Huh. So this is just that for asphalt oh, wow. late model stuff Let's right now. Let's do it. Let me set it on the camera. Right there, right? <laughs> how much money these machines cost? Yeah. Here? Like, how, like the value in this building. I wonder how much this freaking insured for. <laughs> Bajillion dollars. They got, they got 15 employees here in this I building. That, yeah, yeah, 15 employees. Yeah. That's pretty cool. It's a pretty big operation. It's yeah. huge. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What is it? Oh, I don't wow. know. He's oh, telling wow. he said this is a water jet? Is, no, he oh. said this is their newest machine. Five X CNC mill. Oh. Is that that's water, right? Or nope, that's just cooling. Oh, oh. It, it is cut. I have no idea what I'm looking at, clearly. Me either. <laughs> what are so we what, building? Yeah, what, what are, are we, we making? Forward, forward shop now. Is that we're building this? this? Forward shop now. Yep. Wow. Huh. Huh. What's this for? Is it uh, what, 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 here? what uh, for a dirt car? Yeah. Dirt lane model? Huh. Y'all don't have one? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I got one. No. <laughs> Get Marshall here. <laughs> yeah. That's, a, that's what it looks that's like. That's the finishing yeah. of it. Yeah. That's the there finishing. We have, we have this. There we do. There you go. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Coolant. That's a coolant. And that's a, like a drill. That right is there. a drill bit right there. That's what it looks like. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. It's not a cap. It's a cap. So how long does it take for it to build one of these? Don't push it too hard about 30 minutes. 30 wow. minutes to build one. Wow. These are asphalt clay bars, or the beginning pieces. Asphalt late model clay bars, right? That's what yeah. Said. This, okay. yeah, this is what it looks like going into it. Yeah. And he said he'll show us one in a minute. Okay. Uh, going uh, into uh, that. Yeah, this that is machine there. Yeah. So it goes from that onto this machine, and he's going to show us what it looks like after. Yeah, these are your in mills, uh, wood cutters, obviously drills. Right. So those go on, what you see going up and down over there, that's uh, that's for different applications what yep. goes on there. Yep. Your basic. You, you need a drill bit set like that? Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't. Yeah, you don't want to show up to a doctor's office and see that there. That's yeah, for right. That's, sure. that's, that's just your normal everyday <laughs> dentist trip for the dentist. Yeah. <laughs> we gonna have a little injection today. <laughs> what does this go on? Like Center of a bird cage. The ears go around here. Uh, so this goes on the rear, yeah. rear end? Uh -huh. okay. Starts like this, goes in this machine, comes out looking like that. That's wild. Yeah. Yeah. How, long, and how long does that take? How long is this? Yeah. Probably 30 to 40 minutes. Okay. Yeah. One thing you said talking about these aluminum pieces, you used to mention a lot of uh, old crushed up cans. Is this like recycled aluminum? Oh yeah. Really? So oh, yeah. When people recycle their aluminum yeah. cans, 
you know, it's kind of yeah. There you go. Recycling, uh, good for the environment, good for racers. I'm I drinking guess. them Mountain Dews were good for me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or, or, the, or, or the aluminum cans. Other aluminum cans we drink. <laughs> Part of a pull bar, like a like a dirt modified pull bar instead of a lift bar. Right. Those are just one of the one and of the going on to this. This is yeah. steel. Yeah. Well, heavy. yeah. This is heavy. Yeah. yeah. So it starts out again. Starts out here. Yep. Machine turns it into that there. And that's it's a crazy world we live. In. Is that what this machine is doing? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's hard to see. Yeah. It's, it's multiple stages. We're working second off on the right hand side of the machine. Uh -huh. and it's already run first up on that side over there. Oh, wow. So the theory is try to be as efficient as right. possible. Yep. Load a blank over there. It runs first off, comes over and runs second off before the door is open. Oh. When the door is open. Every time the door is open, you get a good part. Oh, okay, that makes sense. How much y'all like the. the weekly racer you know do y'all feel like y'all get a, a good bit of i mean it's not just the top level of you know the the sports you get a lot of the local guys it's so triple down yeah the more, the more stuff we can do for the top level I'll, i've always said that racing is a lot of monkey see monkey do right it is. and what you know what you see winning on saturday night guys are surfing the web and buying on monday afternoon right, right. putting on their stuff so yeah. theory or concept started out at the top level right. stuff and extended and this trip went all the way down to the Saturday Night Short Tracker, running street stops. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's quite a ways down. <laughs> <laughs> you got put on the job, man. Which one of these machines are you going to run, Jeffy? That big some. That, <laughs> that big one over there. <laughs> the one that looks like an apartment? Yeah. Uh, hey. What's that? Oh, is this that finished this, product? This is the from the big machine? Yes. Yeah, right. So, does it start like this or no? Well, it starts raw stock. We spin it, we straighten it. No, take it back. Heat treat it, straighten it, spin the ends, big machine, spin the center, do a finished grind on it. It will look very much like that. So this is the finished product. After I got it. <laughs> is this the yeah. merchandise in here? I think so. I think we're going to get some new merch. <laughs> Hot off the presses. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's nice, but stepping out here. You'd rather have a snapback. Well, if you'd rather have a white one versus the Ooh. the gray. Y'all nice. y'all good to go now? Ready to go now. He yeah, just buddy. picked him up a half don't, a hey, second. Don't right take there. that Cut get it all dirty, dirty at the track now. <laughs> no, I'm not. Yeah. yeah. I got no I got another one in the trailer. Yeah. I noticed which uh which uh, hunt the front driver. Yeah, she was like, I guess, huh? I didn't have a choice there. Yeah, okay. I did not pick up the mail that day. <laughs> so so we, we, sent, we only sent three and you had to choose what was left? Yeah, I, I think I got leftovers. Okay. Not, so the 10 and the 1 are somewhere else. You said the 1 home. 10 is in the lobby, the 1's at my place. There you go. All right. Well, there's nothing wrong with 56. Oh, right? yeah, right. <laughs> not not wrong with I'm the driver. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we, uh, we walked out of yeah. the office there, and someone said, Steve, you're needed. David Wells is here. That's uh, Brandon Overton's car owner. So we got to go tend to those matters. <laughs> <laughs> He's a very, pretty important person. So uh, anyway, so this was the building we were just in. The front where we came in at is around the corner there. But we are um, we're about to walk over to the original uh dei shop is this building right here uh where they currently have some car older the, some of the cars and, and other stuff and then where them i think they had a museum set up there so we're in the front area here right where you walk in um this is uh kind of the I say like kind of like a museum area um, that used to be open to the public before COVID. Um, so we can kind of show you all, show y'all y'all a little bit in here, um, but we can't go I think too far back. So. What is this? The Bloodsaw Donut Hunt made NASCAR history when he won his seventh Cup championship driving this car to victory lane in 1994. This car was first put on display when Dale Earnhardt Inc. opened in 1999. It's been a fortune. Dale's incredible accomplishments ever since. Dude. 
This is awesome. Pretty cool. This yeah. is awesome. What is all this? Just he memorabilia? He collected what, the watches. Okay. That you said the vendors would send him? Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. He collected them. Uh -huh. That's where I had my interview. Really? In that? You interviewed in that house? So. Oh, these are the Winston yeah. Cup trophies? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. Seven. They're all there. What well, he did win every year? Yeah. Well, yeah. there. He was the man, not every year, but he was the man there for a while. 94, yeah. 91, 90. Some old suits that he wore. Yes, it does. Yeah, <laughs> this looks a little familiar. <laughs> we got some, so we're saying this is an SP2 motor, mm -hmm. like uh, like the one we we're running. Yep. Yeah. Another thing is our, our our plug wires look exactly like that. <laughs> they do. All right, so this is a look back, kind of a showroom floor here with some of the old cars, uh, DEI cars, and um, I think that one is a '93 uh, Lumina that our, uh, Dale himself drove in the Xfinity series. And all kinds of other stuff back here, like we walked through there and there's a, the truck bay and everything, but we can't go back there with the, the video cameras. What's behind that door? <laughs> it's off limits, yeah. it's top secret. Yeah. So we just uh, walked through kind of um, the, the back area there, the old DEI shop, the engine room area, and looked at some old cars and um, it's pretty cool. Now you said there was at one point 450 employees was here, so in the, uh, when it was at its biggest, three, was it three cup teams yep. that was running out of here? Teams, yep. Xfinity team and a truck team. There you go. So that's the uh, the main building there. This is the building we originally came in and where all the machines are and everything they operate. Earnhardt Technologies group out of. and That's uh, that's pretty cool. What do you say? That's, that, that's mind blowing. That yeah. Awesome. Alright, I think we're ready to wrap it up and head back to the track and see if I can get a show in tonight. Let's do it. Joey's got to redeem himself. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> we uh we appreciate you showing us around. Yes, sir. Nice Anytime. place y'all got here. Glad yep. you guys, yeah. glad you guys uh, come back. Yeah, really appreciate y'all having us. Y'all yep. uh I don't know I don't know how I'm feeling, but I'm feeling I'm feeling a certain nostalgic. Kind of way. It's called yeah. nostalgic know, is it's what it's called. Like it's, man, I, hopefully it carries <laughs> yeah. over to tonight. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's cool, <laughs> man. Some motivation. Yeah. Yeah. That's Can I get out of here? Yeah, you're gonna want to turn the handle. Anyway, I thought it was just a push. All right, we uh have wrapped up here at Earn heart technologies group um thanks again to steve and gaston and uh their whole crew for letting us come hang out and showing us around uh i would say it was a pretty cool experience yeah, you that was say? one of the cool i've thrown up there for coolest things crap i've done museums yeah you know, <laughs> going to see a museum that right, right over there like, i'm telling you that is something else yeah it's pretty cool and just you know just how advanced even in 2001 how yeah. advanced that race shop is mm -hmm. you know and you know, like, it's just wow. So we went in the back way. I was going to show you all real quick to the, uh, or the the main building of DEI. That's the front of it right there. We went in the back way from the back of this building and went in the back and where we were looking at the um, the big posters with uh, Dale on them and his, his car out front. That's right inside the front of that building there. So, Joseph, your truck needs a bath. Terrible. Yeah. Two more all nights right. of it. Maybe it'll rain and watch it off. <laughs> yeah. All right. We're going uh, to wrap it up there. Y'all like, comment, subscribe. Let us know what you thought of uh, of the tour there and the shop and Earnhardt Technologies Group and the old DEI stuff. And uh, be sure to check them out. Uh, again, to get their, some merchandise. And if you're a racer, definitely check out their uh, their parts and, and all they got to offer for uh, for every bit of every, every level of the racing uh, world, it seems like. Hey. Hey. Let's go do it for Dale. Let's do it for Dale. Let's go. <laughs>